Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 news special with myself, Amata. This video is of course concerning the Battle.net World Championship Global Finals, which are taking place at this very moment in Shanghai, China. The purpose of this video is to give you all of the winners and runner-ups for the groups, so you have an idea of who is going through and who is unfortunately bowing out. As would make sense, it would be a bit bizarre if I started off with anything else, we're going to start off with Group A. Obviously, as I said in my original video, which you can check out if you haven't seen already, the first matches were Illusion v Phoenix and Parting v Sokke. The winner of the Illusion v Phoenix matches was Illusion, and the winner of Parting v Sokke was Parting. And obviously Illusion and Parting faced off to decide the winner of the group, which was actually parting, so hooray, a win already for the Protoss, which always pleases me. On the other side of this particular group, though, we had the elimination round between Phoenix and Sokke, and that unfortunately saw Sokke losing to Phoenix, which is a little bit of a shame, because Sokke is actually one of my favourite players. So then, of course, we had the matchup of Phoenix versus Illusion, of which Illusion won. So we have parting of the winner of Group A and Illusion, as the runner-up. So for Group B, the first matches were Vortex vs Vibe and Com vs Suppy. The winner of Vortex vs Vibe was Vibe, and the winner of Com vs Suppy was Suppy. So obviously for the deciding match of that group, we had Vibe vs Suppy, of which Suppy was the winner. So he was the winner of Group B, but for the elimination round we of course had Vortex vs Com, and the winner of that particular matchup was Vortex. And we had Vortex versus Vibe for the second deciding match. And I am pleased to announce that Vortex was the winner of that particular matchup, making him the runner up of Group B. For Group C, the original matches were Sen versus Killer and Huck versus Grubby. For Sen versus Killer, we had Sen take the match, and Grubby took the match between him and Huck, which is awesome, big fan of Grubby. So then, of course, we had the first deciding match, which was Sen versus Grubby, of which Sen was the winner. And on the other side of things, on the elimination round, we had Killer versus Huck, of which Killer was the winner. And then, of course, he faced off against Grubby in the second deciding match, of which Killer won. So although he lost against Sen, he was pretty much on fire, beating two very, very good Protoss players indeed, in order to take runner-up of the group, with Sen taking winner, of course. For Group D, we have got we had State vs Baby Knight and Mafia vs Rain. Baby Knight won the matchup between him and State, and Rain won the matchup between him and Mafia. And of course we had the first deciding match of Rain and Baby Knight, of which Baby Knight won, which is awesome, always nice to see Protoss taking a victory there. For the elimination round, we of course had State vs Mafia, of which State was the winner. So we had a PvP for the second deciding match, State vs Rain, and which Rain was the winner. So that made him the runner-up of Group D, and Baby Knight the winner. For Group E, the first round matches were Stefano vs Hero, and Idra vs Roro. Unsurprisingly, Stefano won that match, not that Hero is not a good player, because he of course is, but Stefano seems to do very, very well in every tournament that he's in, pretty much. And also, unsurprisingly, Idra won the match between him and Roro. And then of course we had a fierce DVC of two of the what you would call the best Zergs in the business at the moment, Stefano versus Idra, and Idra took that match and I will actually be going to watch that match myself because I bet that was a fierce one. Anyway, in the elimination round, we had Hero vs Roro, of which Hero won, and of course Hero vs Stefano, since he lost to Idra. And happily, Hero took that, always nice to see Protoss taking a win, even if it's only to get runner-up of a group. So of course we had Idra as winner, Hero as runner-up. The original matches for Group F were Curious and Titan and Major vs Hero. For the Curious and Titan match, we had Titan take the win, and Hero took the win against Major. The first deciding match between Titan and Hero saw Titan become the victor. For the elimination rounds, we had Curious vs Major, and Curious took that win. 
to face off against Hero in the deciding match, of which Curious was the winner. So we have Curious as runner-up of Group F, and Titan as the winner. For Group G, the original matches were Inser vs Lowerly and Levin vs Lucifron. The Inser vs Lowerly match saw Lowerly coming out victor, and Lucifron winning out against Levin. Obviously, we had the first deciding match of Lowerly vs Lucifron, of which Lucifron was the victor, making him the winner of Group G. For the elimination round, we had Inser vs Levin, of which Inser won, which was awesome. And then, of course, we had the second deciding match of Inser vs Lowerly, of which Lowerly was the winner. So quite a strong showing for all the races so far, as I'm sure you will agree. But before we wrap this up, we've got a Group H. The original match of that was Moonglade and Scarlet, and of course Nurtio vs Creator. Moonglade vs Scarlet saw Scarlet coming out the winner, and Creator winning out against Nurtio. Which is good, I mean, not, as I said, always nice to see Protoss take a victory, but I'm a little bit surprised because Nurtio is another one of the top, top Zergs, at least in my opinion. So, first deciding match of Scarlet vs Creator saw Creator being crowned the winner of Group H. So, in the elimination round, we had Moonglade vs Nurtio, of which Nurtio took the victory, which is unsurprising, as I'm sure you will agree. Not that Moonglade isn't good, but Nurtio is Nurtio. And then, of course, the deciding match was between Nurtio and Scarlet, of which Scarlet took the win, making them the runner-up of Group H. So, some very interesting results indeed, as I'm sure you will agree. Some of the players which I thought would be in it for the long haul have been knocked out already, such as Soke, and of course Huck as well. But, you know, the, there's some very, very good strong showing of players. Everyone here is very, very good at what they do indeed, which is of course why they're here in the first place. Each of these players has of course gone through a World Championship Series in their home country to even make it to this tournament, which is why it's one of the biggest tournaments ever attempted, at least to my knowledge. So, some interesting results so far. Of course, I will keep you updated on all the latest updates. Should have some more information for you tomorrow on the matches that are taking place today. Obviously, as I'm on UK time, I'm a little bit behind because this is taking place in China, but I will do my best to keep on top of the news for you guys to keep you updated as I possibly can. Anyway, that's it for this particular video. If you want to see more stuff like this, please do check out our channel at redgamingtech.com. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.